know my rules. We'll have no fucking around and absolutely no funny business. We're going to wait our turn and maintain our manners at all times or this game is over before it's even begun. Frank, let's have you do the honours. Age before beauty, Eddie. Let's get some fights made. I haven't got all night. Chop, chop, Frankie. Off you go. Chop, chop, indeed. That's a cleaver swing. And there's a killer behind it. He's enjoying his first Friday as a butcher. When two guys come in to collect, as they always do, where's our money they demand from his boss? And that butcher here doesn't take too kindly to the noise. He calmly asks, can I help you? Before they can respond, crash. Bang. And a wallop. They wake up on the pavement the next morning. Nice sausages, though. Cute. What a lovely bedtime story. Flip it, sweetheart. Put your fucking mouth. The jeweler. This kid's a proper diamond. Rocks, chains, watches. Knock, knock. Who's there? Three blokes come crashing through the door. Lost property's closed on a Monday, boys. He's smart, but some people just can't take no for an answer. I don't think this is yours, they say. The front man throws a punch. My man sniffs it. He pops the next man's nose like a bloody balloon. He's broken my nose. He goes, bang! And it's outside, and a quick way down for the challenger. Let's see what you're packing, Eddie. Picture this. You got yourself into one of the most dangerous man's houses in the East End. You're browsing his gallery for your nan's next wall piece. Looked after his nan. Oh. When you come face to face with a colourful character himself and his lovely sawn off shotgun, you slip the first shot, leaving with a shiner to remember you by. That's another one for his nan's collection. They say if you love what you do, You'll never have to work another day in your life. He's never had a CV. Just a fist. So he got a job as a door. And like the saying goes, if you can't take the heat, then why are you even in the kitchen? Talking about kitchens, this man is a shit cook. And he doesn't take customer feedback too well either. That's not the way I like it. Get back in there and make me another. Customer says, wallop. Now that's one way to enjoy a haggis. It's the ones that work in the shadows are the ones you want to look out for. He shouts at my lad, get over here and clean this blood off the canvas. My lad steps inside the ring. Where's your mop? He said, he'd clean the floor with him. Night, night. I can always respect a man that takes out the rubbish. <coughs> this lot in the same room is going to be trouble. Come on, then. This man's an artist. My lad's a perfectionist, a visionary, fists like cast iron. His boss comes over. What's taking you so long? I'm thinking, he says. Next minute, it's bang. Now, houses aren't this man's forte. He liked fixing cars and breaking jaws. If you happen to find your way into this man's garage looking for trouble, saying things like, should I trash the place? Should I burn the place? You're generally leaving toothless, I'm afraid. Last two cards, gents. You're fucked. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear tires and ride double-deckers. So when someone disrupts his peaceful commute, crash, his head through the window. This man's been behind the wheel all day. What does he see? Some tosser nabbing some old girl's handbag. He hammers his foot to the pedal. He steps out of the taxi to finish the job right there on the pavement. She even tipped him a fiver. June the 1st, make sure your mother there. Troops assemble. Shake hands, boys. Let's have a fair fight. 